Good morning guys. We woke up at like 5.30 today and we're super jazzed because we're at Captain Andy's and we're gonna go do a boat tour of the Nepali coast. The Nepali coast is currently shut down to any hiking so this is like the only way you can go see it. So Or a helicopter. Or a helicopter. But this was much more affordable and we get to stop and snorkel so we're pretty excited. And yeah, come on, let's go. We got our boarding pass, we got our muffins, we're ready to go. Now that we are done our boat tour of the Nepali coast, we are back at the Kalalau lookout, which we attempted the first full day we had here in Kauai, but it was crazy, crazy cloudy, and it's much more of a blue sky day. So we're gonna see if we can get some views. So that valley down there, next to the mountains that are being covered by clouds is uh, Kalalau Valley. And that is where you hike when you hike the Kalalau Trail to see the Nepali coast, which as we've mentioned before is currently closed because of the storm that wiped out a road that's over there. Even if it is like a really nice day up here, you still have to be patient and wait for a little while for some gaps in the clouds to pass by to get the view. And we luckily just caught a little bit of the view. And we're gonna head up to the Pihea Point Lookout, the wettest place on earth, and see if there's blue two. skies yeah. in the wettest place on earth. I wanna take two of my picture where it's all cloudy. We figured we would take some time while hiking to talk about what we thought of Captain Andy's Nepali coast tour. <laughs> I am on a very slick, muddy hill. This is probably a bad idea. But the gist of it was, it was incredible. Like, it was worth every penny. It cost about $165 American. And for us, that's spendy. We don't usually do, like, crazy events and things like that but this one was like 100% worth it. Also important to note, we did the, uh, the uh, Nepali Coast picnic sale and we did the one that started at 8 a.m. Uh, we checked the weather ahead of time to make sure that it was gonna be a clear day and it ended up being a gorgeous day. Yeah, you definitely wanna be like planning this for a day that's supposed to be nice because it is the Nepali coast. It does get insanely rainy. 
And we were able to book ours the night before. Um, maybe in a higher season or in high season when it's more popular, you might need to book it um, farther out. But for us, we were able to kind of watch the weather and make a last minute decision. As you guys saw, we saw like dolphins swimming in front of the boat. We got a chance to snorkel where we saw sea turtles. There were whale sightings. And because we couldn't really see the Nepali coast from like the water, from any other perspective other than a helicopter, it was a super affordable way to go out and see the Nepali coast. So we, we definitely recommend checking that out. Thank you, Captain Andes. You have an amazing tour. Oh, and one last thing. They give you like food and especially beer, which we were enjoying from the bow of a catamaran in beautiful sunlight. So you really, you can't beat that. Alana's currently hiking with the camera bag back there. She's currently the turtle. And now I, I feel like my back feels naked. It just feels weird. I feel like I'm forgetting things. It's stressful. Can I have the backpack back? <laughs> the Pihea Trail is a mile in, a mile out. But what we found from talking to people and just from the overall vantage, as it follows the ridge, it's kind of like a, a bowl shape or a semicircle. So you reach kind of an apex just past the half a mile point, which is marked. That has the most spectacular view that you get along the hike. So if you're planning on doing it, we suggest just stopping there because you get the full vantage point. And like I said earlier, if you're not a hiker, like you're not missing a ton from the lookout at, you know, at the parking lot. I agree with that, except it's significantly busier at the lookout and there's railings up. So it's a lot harder to get more of a candid picture. Whereas if you walk even just like, you know, a couple hundred feet off of that main part, you get it all to yourself and you get pretty much a lot of the views and I would say this is an easy trail. Like I would mark it as easy. We just read a sign over there that said the entire uh, coffee farm and all of its production is run entirely off of hydroelectricity, which is really cool. It makes a lot of sense since it is the rainiest place in the world. We send the beans all the way to... Ding! Canada! I may have had a little bit too much coffee. So behind me is coffee beans drying out. The longer you dry them for, the less caffeine's in them, which is why a dark roast is more roasty and bodied, and a medium roast has way more caffeine in it. Isn't that cool? We just finished up with the coffee tour. It was awesome, a little self-guided explanation on how we get our delicious cups of goodness and we're pretty much done for the day. Yeah, I mean, not energy level wise, because oh, no, now the fully room. ramped up again. <laughs> but as far as vloggy stuff goes, we gotta get back to camp. Okay, okay, we lied. We're actually at Wailua Falls. So let's check this out quickly, then we'll wrap up the vlog. All right, now back to the real ending of the vlog. 